peace of Christ again uh, we continue with part two uh, you know in part uh, part number one we showed you how Muslims their prayer is useless meanless and it's nothing but but repeating words they mean nothing how you know Muslims they say as an example in the name of Allah the, the beneficent the merciful in the same time just two line after they say the beneficent the merciful it just it, it, you know it's it's a fake prayer if somebody is just trying to make to to to, to make a rubber music he's out of words uh, if you say that already you do not need to say it again in the same time we see that Jesus he, he warned us <clears throat> not to repeat words don't pray like those who keep repeating their words always those are hypocrite people you know and they are even it's it's silly of them you know they, they, because God he, you know he, listen he is not deaf he's not dumb he's not uh, stupid you said it one is actually you know the Lord he knew even <laughs> if you pray in your heart he knew <clears throat> he knew what you are saying even if you pray in your heart you don't need to pray in, even say in your words in your heart he he read you he understand you he knew you uh, in Islam we see that the Muslims are the opposite now we explain in part number one the differentiation and even how Muslim they say showing the, 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 the selfishness of a human being in Islam how Islam turned him to be a selfish person because he say oh okay you know what well, the same as the Pharisee you know uh, don't make me like those the, 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 uh, the Jews who you curse them or the Christians who they lost their way you can change different translation by the way if you don't like this one any translation this is chapter 1 Al-Fatiha this is the, what, what the Muslim they recite five times a day you know repeating themselves saying nothing not like those who you curse them not like those don't make us like those who you curse them don't make us like those who you hate them don't make us like those you know why he want to make you like those anyway are you saying that he is the one who made them like this yes all of Islam is speaking about that Allah is the one who lead people astray so the Muslim in this prayer they present their fear from the God who is a bad God this God who have nothing to do except destroying nations and leading people left or right up to his mood he have no law he have nothing nothing to follow you know we remember the hadith where it says that a person he might work all his life the deed of a good man then what is written by Allah will take over if you forgot the hadith let me show it to you as you see in the screen Sahih al-Bukhari book number 55 hadith number 549 it says in here you can read yourself uh, we can make it a little bigger for you so you can read better maybe okay that a human being uh, uh, his deeds and his prayer will not help him and who is saying that Muhammad so a man may do the deeds which you present of the people of the uh, people of uh, hellfire which means he, he have a bad deed he have a disgusting deed so he's doing all his life the deed of people of hellfire so much so that there is only a distance of a cupid between him and it it mean the hellfire and then what has been written by the angels supersedes and so he start doing the deeds which present the people of paradise so it's not it's not your deeds you see the guy with the free will is doing his deeds supposedly of, uh, of hellfire but then what is written by Allah angel it's destiny so what the point even with the prayer that's why the Muslims they are praying to Allah not to do that to them not to make their destiny this destiny but this is a stupid prayer because supposedly this destiny is written for them before they are even born and that's it it's written already so the prayer is useless and then you will see in the other side uh, and this guy who was doing the bad deeds all his life then he what is written by the angels will take over and he will enter paradise then similarity a person who was doing the good deeds of the person who go to, to heaven 
and there is only a distance with a cupid between him and heaven like imagine how close he is to heaven and then what is written by the angels will will will, will take over will suppress and uh, he start doing deeds of people of hell fire and he enter hell fire <laughs> so what the point of this religion nothing nothing it's what is written for you before you are born it doesn't matter how you try you convert to Islam you don't convert to Islam you, you are a Christian you are a Jew you are a Hindu you are a potato you are a tomato it doesn't matter it's what is written by the angels for you before you are born so what the point of all of this nothing it's a stupid religion Muhammad is trying to keep them busy you know like you have a child you want to keep him busy this is why Muhammad he asked him to do a lot of things in Islam and they are there is no need for them but just because he want them to be busy they don't he don't want them to use their brain because if you read this hadith alone is enough to, to make you leave Islam the idea of destiny destiny which is one of the biggest uh, important belief in Islam if you don't believe in destiny by the way you are not a Muslim you have to believe in the destiny the bad and the, the good the evil and the good it's from Allah So what the point of this prayer? Nothing. But what we see in the prayer of in, in which Christ He taught us and how to pray, we will see the opposite. We will see in here Christ is teaching us not to repeat, but to say what we understand. And don't do what other people do. Don't do what other people do. If you see somebody here repeat, it doesn't mean he's right. The father he knew what is in your heart. Don't don't think you don't. Which means the prayer can be even without saying a word. Actually, it should be even uh, mostly inside your heart, so nobody knows you are praying. Why you want to tell people you are praying? And we showed you in the part number one how important it is before you pray. To, to to when you ask God for forgiveness you have to practice something very important before you ask him for forgiveness you have to forgive people before you ask people or you ask God for to forgive you so forgiveness in Christianity is the most important thing in Islam they don't believe in forgiveness they believe in revenge revenge even against the one who did not even do harm to them you know the Quran says that Allah he punished people by the hand of Muslims people who did not harm the Muslims but Allah decide to punish you by their hands then you will see in here that the God the, you know the, in, in Christianity we've been asked not to be going into a trial and a temptation but we don't say oh don't make us like the Hindus don't make us like the Buddhas don't make us like the, 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 the Muslims no it's mean we are being hypocrite we think we are better than others but we saw in the same time in the Quran the Muslim they are asking Allah to do what oh don't make us the same as those people as we saw in here in verse number seven. Oh, don't make us the same as the Christians because this verse by the way chapter 7 is about the Christians and the Jews don't make make us the same as those who they are cursed those are the Jews and don't make us the, like, like those who do go astray which is the Christians and here you will see the Christians been asked not to be in temptation but they don't make themselves they don't show off says oh don't make us like those people which mean that we are claiming that we are better than any we are not allowed to do that and look Jesus is saying to them uh, for if you forgive men their trespasses your Heavenly Father will for also forgive you it's extremely important in, in, in your life to practice forgiving and to be a, per, a person of peace and love. You know, the, the one who don't have something, he cannot give it. So you want to ask, you want to you, you wanna be given forgiveness, well, you should have forgiveness at the same time. It's a change. God, this is, this is the purpose of God sending, sending all the, his word to us. What the, what the Lord he wants from us is to live in peace and harmony. And that can be practiced perfectly if we forgive to each other so you want him to forgive to you <clears throat> you forgive to others otherwise you don't belong to me I don't know you 
why why you think you should you, you deserve to be forgiven <laughs> when you yourself you think the others don't deserve to be forgiven and you don't forgive them and this is a proof that you are a selfish person and then Jesus speak about not to pray in the corners and if we are fasting we should not tell people that we are fasting go and ask any Muslim go and see in YouTube when the Muslims in Ramadan everybody should know that they are fasting Allah Akbar brother I'm so tired I'm fasting look my my you know I, I, I used to have a friend in the Middle East before he leave house you know we use in school he, he was putting uh, salt in over his lips I told him why wh wh what are you doing he said I have to put some salt before we go I said why he said we were drinking you know we were drinking tea and coffee you know, we don't think we're drinking anything he said so what he said, it's Ramadan I said oh okay so what the what the salt will do he said this will make my lips dry and really the salt made his, his lips very fast look like if he did not drink for for two days so he was tapping his his lips with with salt and I told him who told you that he no we are young he told me all my family do that <laughs> so they go in the street they make their lips look they are they are not drinking anything but putting salt, salt over their lips for some time and they put again salt and big and that will make them look really that they are not drinking any water or anything Jesus saying if you if you fast you should not tell people because you are not fasting to make them happy you are not praying to make them happy and Jesus continues saying to us you know don't 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 be a person who worship money who, who, who keep saving money and he don't want us to you know to to give others because the, those who save a lot of money it's mean those who don't want to spend money don't want to 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 make make jobs uh, to make the poor eat to find a job because saving money is a problem in this earth there's 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 some people a few people in this earth they own billions of dollars like the the sheikhs of the muslims and the people in somalia they are dying the mullah he want to build a mosque in new york cost 100 million dollar but there's 29000 muslim somalian child die every month in somalia but he is not willing to give the money there and, and if he built the mosque in New York people they will praise him the rich one will praise him you see this is the mosque this is his mosque he built it but if he if he feed the Somalia and those people will eat nobody will remember him so they are seeking their own glory in the same time you will see that Jesus is asking you that even your eye should not be the darkness of you it should be the light of you so don't use your eye to deceive you don't let your eye take you to interpretation somebody will say oh Jesus and he was saying well if your eye full of darkness well it's better for you if you take it off this is not what Jesus is saying Jesus is saying what the benefit of this eye what the benefit of this eye if you cannot see in it the light but you see only the bad so look at the wisdom of Christ teaching and look at the silliness of, of Muhammad Muhammad he told the Muslims if one of you he got horny he saw a woman he go and he do his wife as we see in this hadith in Sahih Muslim Muhammad himself his number uh, the book uh, book number eight his number three two four uh, four zero Allah messenger he saw a woman and so look in here they are trying to make it short by the way in Arabic is more clear he saw a woman which means he, he saw a woman and she made him horny and so he came to his wife Zainab imagine the Prophet of Islam himself is looking at women getting excited he go and do his wife Jesus saying don't wish to have a woman she is not yours don't make your eye huh? see darkness your eye is, is meant to for you to see the light but Muhammad is the opposite imagine in this story Muhammad he have a friends in the house in the front of his house a woman walked by Muhammad get excited he was looking at her ass he went to her in his, his wife he did his wife and then he came back again sat with her friends so do you see the huge difference between Christ teaching and Islam Muhammad himself he have no problem to look at your wife this is why he did marry his own son wife he took her from him he flirted with her when she was still married time is up follow with me with more videos christ is lord islam is false i mean